Good morning, gentlemen. Here's a PSA for you. I just bought this number four welding cable to use in a solar installation, which there will be more about on the channel uh, directly, but I became suspicious when I saw that there were no uh, ampacity or temperature ratings on the jacket. Uh, the jacket was a little bit a little bit uh, translucent and uh, the ends of the wire are silver so I think I was sold copper clad aluminum cable instead of pure copper cable which has a, uh, a, a much lower amp not like super like not like half but it's it, it has a, a much lower ampacity rating than pure copper cable this isn't the kind of thing that we want to use in a high amperage application because it's it's going to get much hotter than copper cable but um, we can tell wh whether or not it's aluminum see this this is copper plated aluminum it looks like copper on the outside but when you when you look at the ends you can see the aluminum core right but if, if we pull one strand of it out and then my cat's about to jump over here and screw up the video sorry about that in advance don't climb in the garbage can buddy um, if we pull out one strand here I'll try to keep this on the camera and then we heat it up Try to melt it. I don't know if this lighter will get hot enough or not. Yeah, see that the aluminum wire, the aluminum wire melts off like that, and just like falls down and gets brittle. It'll break off now if I fu if I fuck with it very much. Well, maybe, maybe I didn't get it hot enough. But uh, see see how that gets red hot and just like falls over like that and it doesn't it doesn't C copper behaves very differently you look, look at that it's like fragile as hair now um but here here's a piece of actual copper wire focus you son of a bitch um and if we pull out one strand of it and heat it up the same way I don't think this lighter is hot enough to get the to get the strand hot enough, but if you heat it up with like a propane torch or something instead of instead of like melting down and breaking off and getting brittle like that aluminum was, the copper wire will ball up on the end as you melt it, and the ball will like move back and stay attached to the wire, and then when you let it cool, the ball will be like firmly attached. That's I, I think that's the best way to tell the difference between copper and aluminum wire. But this copper, even if this lighter isn't hot enough to melt it you know we can get it red hot here and see it's it's not it's not melting over you can't see the you can't see the surface of it flowing back the copper plating you can't see it melting off and flying back down the wire and when you take the heat off of it like the it cools almost immediately because it's much more thermally conductive than the aluminum is and it'll it, it'll it'll remain see it, it remains soft after it's been heated up like that and it won't break off so um yeah uh that's what i get for buying wire off of ebay i guess i hope i can return it that was a lot of wire and it wasn't cheap so don't be me uh double check your shit before you buy it okay bye